Hey guys, Buffer Gaming back today, bringing another video for our weapon blueprint series. And today we're going to be covering the Scar H blueprint called the Fugitive that you get by completing Max Rank 4 Season 4 here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So we'll go ahead, review the blueprint, take a look at it, build it from scratch, then jump into some gameplay and check out how it handles. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here is the final design. This is the Fugitive blueprint for the Scar H, and it actually offers some pretty unique opportunities now that we have the Frankensmithing option on the gun bench here. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. What we'll do is back out again. This is received by reaching match, max rank in Season 4 of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Battle Pass. So reach your rank 155. Doesn't have to do with the Battle Pass just by hitting max rank. So I'll go ahead and strip this down first, and we'll go ahead and build it. So the first attachment you're going to want is the Forge Attack 20-inch barrel on this weapon. So you can see there, damage at range, bullet velocity, and recoil control are our pros. The cons being the ADS speed and the movement speed for the weapon. So we'll go ahead and select that. But first off, you can see how it differs from the base. So we have a color change to the barrel as well as the muzzle device. And we have the color change to the handguard and actually the whole upper receiver of the weapon. Then you can see how it differs there from the trader, which gives us that gives us that Midwest Industries M-Lock handguard. So we'll go ahead and select the Fugitive option there. Now we're going to skip out on the laser. For the optic, we're going to go ahead and select the Elcan or the Scout Combat optic. So this is going to be the Fugitive option here. You can see how it differs from the base. So this is actually going to be a 3.25 scope based on the Elcan, which is in real life name for this scope. The pros here being the zoom level. Again, we're going to a 3.25 zoom level. The cons here being the ADS speed for the weapon. Now the stock, we're going to go ahead and stick with the base stock, I believe, for this one, if I'm correct. And then the perk, as well as the rear grip, we're going to skip. For the ammunition, we're going to go ahead and want the 25-round magazine. So you can see here, by default, it's selected for the blueprint. But you can see we actually get a black magazine here with the Fugitive blueprint. So we'll go ahead and select that. Then the underbarrel, we're going to want that 40 millimeter high explosive grenade launcher and they can see how this differs from the m203 option again if i just select the base versus the fugitive we have that again that color tone difference there on the camo for the weapon so go ahead and select that now the pros here under barrel grenade launcher the only cons being that the ads speed and the movement speed because we're adding that extra weight now this is actually based off of you can notice it's different from the m203s that we have on the some of the other weapons this is actually based off of the fn40 gl grenade launcher or also known as the Mark 13 grenade launcher, uh, particularly developed by H&K, or excuse me, FN for the SCAR. So again, by FN, this is a weapon by FN, so it was developed by FN, given the name the FN 40GL, also known as the Mark 13 40 millimeter grenade launcher. So we'll go ahead and select that. And I believe those are all the attachments. I believe it only comes with the four attachments unless I'm missing one. But let's go ahead now, we'll back out and take a look at the blueprint itself so you can see how it differs from some of the other blueprints here. We have the base scar, we have the fugitive blueprint, again, just with those four attachments, as we said. So you can go ahead and throw a fifth on there. Then we have, so we have the fugitive versus the trader. So you can see the distinct differences there. The custom blueprints I have for the Mark 20 SSR, as well as just the Mark 17 CQC build that I built way back in our conversion series so again this is the fugitive blueprint you can notice the slight changes here cosmetically obviously we have the longer barrel we have the whole upper of the receiver is now changed to a darker color a dark gray or even a black we have the cheek rest on the weapon there on the stock is now black versus the base and then we have that same base or the butt stock or the rubber butt stock on the very end there but we have the again that same color tone difference we have the almost like a similar to a UDT green we have for the receiver the lower receiver as well as the buttstock of the weapon and the pistol grip as well as the grenade launcher so let's go ahead back into our build now again we're only utilizing four attachments on the weapon so you can go ahead and add something uh particularly I would recommend something like a stipple grip tape just because it's going to help you out with the ADS speed you can see there's no difference there between those this is going to help you with the ADS speed as well as the sprint to fire speed the only con here being the aiming stability, but this it doesn't really have too bad ADS speed, but you can always improve it with the SCAR, especially with that 20 inch barrel on the SCAR, it's gonna be a slow ADS weapon. So you could, I would also recommend something like the TAC laser on there, which is definitely going to help improve the ADS speed and other features of the weapon. So uh, for a fifth attachment, I would recommend one of those two. Now, if we, just for the quick break and spinning options, you can see what this looks like with the trader on there. Unfortunately, we can't swap 
cosmetically for the base attachments of any weapon. So I can't put this buttstock on the base scar or the trader blueprint and swap those because the base cosmetics of those blueprints are changed. So I'm not able to adjust that. Unfortunately, maybe that's a feature they'll add in the future because the actually the fugitive blueprint for the scar does have similar to an ACR buttstock on the weapon. But again, this is the fugitive blueprint for the scar. Now really quick, I'll back out and we'll just take a look at what this looks like if I were to select the, we'll do the base scar here. And we'll throw those same attachments on so we can do the, we'll throw it on the same attachments then we'll look at the cosmetic options here. So we'll do the Alcan, the base stock, ammunition, we'll do the 25 and then the under we'll do the 40 millimeter grenade launch right now. So that's what it looks like from the base scar. Now I can also again swap out now that we have the Frankensmith and I can put the fugitive barrel on there to change the upper receiver. I can also put the fugitive L can on to make it a little bit darker. 25 round magazine I can now make black and the under barrel grenade launcher I can also change the color of that. So that's how that looks. Now really quick if I were to just take off the grenade launch you can see pretty decent looking weapon right there. Nice uh, mix match with the different colors of the weapon. We can also put something with the trader on there and you can see how that looks. So pretty cool weapon. Now back to the actual fugitive blueprint. Again, you get this by reaching max rank. So just for the purpose of this, I, you'll see in the gameplay, I'm not using any fifth attachment, but again, I would recommend the stipple grip tape just to assist with the ADS speed of the weapon. Now for the camouflage on this, you can see how it's going to change everything but the grenade launcher and the magazine as well as the optic on the weapon. So I particularly like to run the modern woodland or even the desert hybrid, I think looks really nice on the scar. Some of these woodland camos I really prefer on the scar. More so personal preference, just coming from Battlefield 4, it's a different camo that I ran on the scar in that game. So you can see how that looks. Now, if we were to swap out any different attachments for the stock, you can see cosmetically, we're just gonna, there's no carryover with the design of this blueprint to any of the other items. You can see what it looks like with that obelisk pro stock or the, the one for the use for the mark 20 ssr and we already looked at the different barrels as well as the magazines you can see if we put a 30 round on there how that'll look rear grip again it's not going to change anything cosmetically by swapping that out by putting anything on or adjusting for some of our other frankensmith options and then for the barrel attachment if we looked at something like a tactical suppressor you can again just see how that looks so that is the Fugitive Blueprint for the Scar H or the Mark 17. Again, we're utilizing a 20-inch barrel there for this weapon. We have that FN40GL or the Mark 13 grenade launcher on the weapon, which, again, a very unique design compared to the base Scar. So the cosmetic changes for that, again, we have the changes to the lower receiver of the weapon cosmetically, giving it a different camo, similar to a, a greenish, not quite a UDT green, but, again, we're changing the whole camouflage of the lower receiver as well as the grenade launcher the buttstock, and then we have a black or a very dark gray upper receiver on the weapon to the barrel as well as the cheek breast on the buttstock. So again, really nice looking cosmetic changes to this blueprint for the Fugitive here for the Mark 17 or the Scar. I do like it, and you're able to again mix and match a lot of these, which are pretty neat. So it definitely, if you don't have this unlocked, try and reach make max rank 155 by the end of the season. I think there's about 20 days left as of now. So I'm sure they'll definitely do the double tier weekends again, um, two times XP. So you'll be able to get there. So if you're a fan of the scar, I think it's pretty cool because you do get that black upper receiver on the weapon. I'm not the biggest fan of the base cosmetic, uh, colors of the scar, the base scar camouflage on the weapon. I do prefer a darker scar. I know there's a lot of different blueprints out there that I actually don't have. There's a couple of ones where you have an all black scar, but I think this is a nice option, especially if you were to put the other cosmetic changes on there for the barrel that gives us the Midwest Industries Ablock handguard. I think it always looks really nice on the Scar H. So go ahead and let me know down below what you think of this as we jump into the gameplay here. Again, just standard Scar recoil. It's going to go basically straight vertical, so you just want to compensate for that slightly. It will it will go a little bit to the right after you go straight vertical. So very easy to control the recoil. That's again, it's a slower firing weapon. Um, this particular build out, it didn't have too much trouble, but. However, if you're engaging at longer ranges, something if you're going to use something like this in Warzone, go ahead and check out my video. I'll link below that I did for my Warzone build of the Scar. I recommend different Warzone builds for the Scar as far as solos, as well as even in trios and quads. And I go over the best options there and review the Scar for Warzone, particularly in that video. So I'll link that down below. You can also check that out on the channel and some of the different playlists that we did that, I believe, two days ago. Now, so let me know what you guys think of the Scar, what you think of the Fugitive Blueprint down below. 
Now, also, there was a video that I did see by, I believe, Ink Slasher put it out today, reviewing some lethal weapons and operators, possibly for a Season 4. Now, I haven't been able to actually track down the information that he listed in that video, but the one thing that stood out to me was he did mention HK G28 weapon was supposedly in the game files. So, if anybody happens to find that link to those pictures or the information that was leaked uh, in the game files that people found by data mining, go ahead and send that over to me on the Discord, Twitter, or Instagram. All those links are down below. I'd really be interested to see what was found in the game files for the G28. So again, that goes back to some of the videos we've done in the past as far as our wish lists. And I know one of the items that I'm really wishing for was an HK417, which the G28, very similar weapon. It was actually featured, the G28 was in, I believe, Call of Duty Ghost was the last time we saw that weapon. So uh, not a surprise that it's coming since it has been in previous Infinity War games. But again, if they give us the correct conversions for this, we can essentially make a HK417, as well as if we get the 5.56 ammo conversion, as well as I'm assuming it'd be cool to do it. So the G28 and the 417 are 7.62 NATO rounds is what it's chambered in. So the 416 is chambered in 5.56 NATO. So what they'd have to do is give us a either a perk option to switch over the weapon to full auto, or they'd have to give us the ammo conversion. There's a couple of different ways they could do it. The ammo conversion of the 5.56, which is automatically make the weapon full auto, or give us a barrel conversion. So by swapping on the right barrel for the 416, you would automatically be paired with, a, with the 5.56 ammunition and a perk to make it full auto or the weapon would automatically be in full auto just by that conversion so i'm not sure how they could they could do it a couple different ways but i think it would be really cool to be able to convert that to a 416 with the 556 at full auto as well as having the conversion to make it into an m27 iar just by the different barrel lengths and some of the cosmetic change for that so essentially what i said in the past is if they gave us a 417 we would have three weapons in one we would have a 417 a 416 as well as an m27 iar not to mention the different variants of each of those weapons you can make i guess the the g28 from hk being one of them so really excited for that i really hope that is something that is coming in season four i've been dying to get a g28 or a 417 type battle rifle in the game i was a little disappointed when they released the sks which is an older weapon instead of something like a 417 or even a g28 so hopefully that is coming in the future and i'm really excited for that get my hands on a g28 or a 417 hopefully turn that into a 416 maybe something nice to counter the m4 and some of those other meta rifles there in the game in multiplayer and warzone so let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon for the fugitive as well as what your wish list is for season four i think like we said, the G28 would be really nice. The other weapons that he discussed are the Galil as well as the Vector, which I think we've seen as the APC-9 or the AP-09. Uh, I forget the actual name that that weapon is called. But again, that's been leaked for a while. Uh, he said that the Vector was actually in the game file. So again, I would try to track this down. I couldn't find it. I don't know if it was uh, deleted or I just didn't really take the enough time to search. So if anybody finds that list, go ahead and shoot it over to me on any of the social media links down below. I'd be really interested to see what was leaked if there's any in-game images of those weapons would be really nice to see so let me know down below also be sure to let me know what weapons you are interested in seeing in season four as well as blueprints we talked in length about a actual ak-12 ak-15 blueprint that i've been really wanting to see going forward so hopefully we'll get something like that in the future of the game hopefully in season four or beyond especially because in single player the Steel Curtain Blueprint with the 5.5 ammunition conversion is listed as an AK-12 incorrectly. So I'm hoping, since they have an actual weapon name of AK-12 in the single player, that they'd release an actual blueprint or even a new weapon for the actual AK-12. Now, we did see the AK-12 in Call of Duty Ghost, but again, that was a 2011 prototype version of the weapon. So it would be nice to see an updated new official version of the AK-12, AK-15 platform. But... I'm going to leave you guys with that. Let me know down below all this information, what you want to see in Season 4 and beyond, as well as the rest of Season 3. We do have the security bundle hopefully coming here sometime in Season 3. I know it's been on the rumor list, or it's actually been on Call Tracker for a while, listed as Season 3, but I haven't seen it yet. So I'm assuming it's coming this week because everything else has pretty much come out. So we should be hopefully seeing that. We got a nice AK blueprint there, turning it into a AK-74 
N or an M as well as in different AKM platforms. So I'll have to get a look at that when it actually releases so I can get more in depth with that weapon. But again, I'll leave you guys with that. This is Buffner Gaming with a Fugitive Blueprint for the Scar H or the Mark 17. Till next time, Buffner Gaming.